Sinistel 800T. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this stuff. It might be because of the price or the quality control issues. But regardless, I found myself with this roll and I had no real desire to shoot it. And this shouldn't be an issue for pretty much any other film stock, but it starts to get a little funky the longer it sits around. So I have no real intention to shoot this stuff straight up, so when in doubt, just cross-process it. When it came out of the soup, I was actually really surprised. When I cross-processed normal C41 films like Ektar or Color Plus, it usually comes out looking something like this. It's a positive image with a heavy orange tint. And I always assume that because the film has an orange base, it has an orange tint. And the 800T I've seen developed in C41 comes out with an orange tint, so I just assume that it'll look like this. So what the heck am I looking at? I'm genuinely asking, I have no idea what's going on. It comes out looking purpley blue, and the scans themselves don't really look that awful. It kind of looks like Lomochrome purple light, and I don't know if you could tell, but the first six shots right here uh, was shot with no filter, and the last six was shot with the 85B filter. It's a subtle difference, but I don't think it ultimately mattered after cross-processing. The results came as a surprise, and I might have preemptively judged 800T too harshly. I thought it was going to join Color Plus in the pile of rejects, but instead, I think it earned its place in the pantheon of freaks, along the likes of Cross Process Lomo Purple and Metropolis and Ilford XP2. I mean, I'll probably never shoot this film again, but an interesting result is an interesting result, and you gotta respect that.